Ahmaud Arbery was a black man who was shot and killed in Glynn County, Georgia, early 2020. This video is being made uh, November 5th, 2021, and, and his, the trial for his killers is underway right now. Now, the, his killers were three white men that hunted him down, ambushed him, and killed him with the shotgun. This was a black man that was just going for a jog. A black man that was going for a jog. Now, it's important to point out that Glynn County is 25% African American. When you appoint a jury to oversee a trial, the jury is supposed to be a reflection of the community and your peers. So one would think that 25% of the jury would be black. Ah ha ha ha. The defense for these three white men that chased down Ahmad and killed him obviously had something else in mind. And now all we're looking at is one, one out of 12 jurors is black. That's crazy. Let's get into why that is asinine and why that is, why that is outrageous. So the idea is that when the defendant is black, and the and the 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 jury the defense and the prosecution are choosing jury members it is illegal for them to select jury based upon race and that's called a batson challenge when the defendant is black now it's a reverse batson what's going on here the batson challenge is when a defendant is black and the defense is uh, the the prosecution is getting white people onto the jury to say that you know, you know these 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 folks um, these 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 folks are going to call it how it is. In this case, the defendants are white, and the defense is trying to get white people in, saying, "Hey, they're going to be more impartial." You get a black person in there, it's it's that it, they might have a bias. What? The idea is that they're going forward with the idea that white people are going to be too biased in one situation, but they'll be perfectly impartial in another. So where you see this going is kind of where this is going. What they're calling this right now is a reverse Batson, where they're striking black jurors from the pool by saying, hey, they might be too biased. We want white people because it's going to be impartial. That's, that's crazy. The point is, is in 1986, the Supreme Court ruled it unconstitutional to essentially pick jury by their race. 1986. That's insane. That's a year right before the twins won the pennant. Like that, that you would think that that would have happened way earlier. No, it did not. It was very recent. Like that, that that's that's wild. That's I mean, th that's like 35 years old. That's a young. That's a young human being. That that thing is very young. So, think about the court. Think about how these how these courts are racially charged. How early on in its infancy that courts have just been. Uh, under the Constitution to under the Supreme Court uh, law to not pick jurors based on the race that's insane so with this you would think that they'd be following that and they're not however the judge who's presiding over the case essentially said not verbatim but in so many words this is we know what the defense is doing but I can't really do anything about it because Georgia law says that this is okay Essentially, in, in so many words, it's they're being racist, but they're going about it very smartly. So what we're looking at is a nearly all white jury that's going to preside over the case of the three white men that ran down Ahmaud Arbery, shot and killed him. And the possibility, I know you're thinking this right now, the possibility that they might walk free. That's crazy. That's insane, but the outrage is in, and here's where we get a little bit deeper. Let's break this down. The outrage is in the sentiment that black people cannot be on a jury because of our experience. Racism, from my experience as a black man, is something that I encountered, I mean, at, I remember at the age of two or three in New Orleans. I saw it, I felt it, I experienced it, I understood the world was based on power, rank, and privilege determined by your skin tone. That is my life experience. And that life experience is produced from a legacy of white supremacy. And so what the court is saying, hey, these black folks have experienced racism, they can't be in here for this racist ass thing that these white people did. Well, why not? That's a pretty fair assessment. If you've experienced racism, if you've 
been uh, if you've been called a derogatory term based on your skin tone if you've uh, experienced economic disparity education disparity uh, mental health disparity because of your skin tone that would that would be a pretty relative experience to have that reflected in the court would it not so going deeper yes it's outrageous that they have only one black person on the jury but what it says is even more important what it says is that if we have black people on a jury they're gonna hold white people responsible isn't that what we would want anyways we want people to be held responsible in court I'm curious what you think about this and I know that this topic is 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 pretty heated for a lot of people and in the comments section it can get fairly heated and offensive but I mean what do you think how do you feel about this and this is especially for people that are going in the law and people that uh, work in law how does it feel to you to know that the practice and industry that you're in is absolutely the foundation is cracked you can have a situation where every black juror that or potential juror that's being brought up uh, can be stricken stricken out of the court that yeah, they're black gonna be too biased would you not think that white people would be biased please let us know what you think and how how would you want to change the system going forward in in uh, instances like this reflecting um, in instances like this uh, regarding the kind of the whitewashing of the jury for uh, Ahmaud Arbery's killers.